Hello for Affinity, this is Legend, and I'm going to help you with BB coding, which a lot of people like to do in uh, journals and such. So, first we're going to start out with the, you know, normal, obvious BB coding. And so, you know, to make a text bold, you would do bracket, B, bracket. This is the obvious stuff, so I'll go through that, it's pretty obvious. So hold on. Alright, so those are the normal regular uh text formatting. Um they'll show up like this. Um so now Alright, and those are the uh placement tags right here. Those can be the text formatting are right here. Um can't even talk right now. Um the uh placement ones right there. So, and that will show up like this. Yes, I know the journal is updated now. Will you show me the journal? Jeepers. Text on the left, text on the center, text on the right. Alright. So Alright, so as you can see here, I have linked YouTube videos. That's what I'm going to go on to next. And, you know, they actually work and go through. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is, you know, just go to YouTube. I just get go through it through Google. It's a bit faster. Um, let's see. No, I'm just going to find one. Hold on. So I'm going to put one of my favorite videos in, um, you know, YouTube, uh, not YouTube, sucks, uh, for Affinity Journal. So what you do is you go up here, you're going to copy this, control C, go back over here, put bracket YT, another bracket, control V, paste, bracket forward slash YT, bracket, and then you click and we'll get updated. Alright, now when you click on it, it shows up. To put them in the center, like I did with the Mio ones, you can just highlight this and click center. And notice how the YouTube ones don't end up out here like it is up here. It's up on the inside. And what that looks like centered is like that. Um, so now, alright, so now I'm going to tell you about subscripting and superscripting. Superscripting looks like this. Alright, so as you can see, that's what they look like. And, hold on. Uh, let's see here. See, you can tell the obvious difference, that's called superscript. And subscript looks like this. Alright, and that's subscripting, which shows up uh, sorry, like this. You can tell the obvious difference there. Like if you highlight it, you can tell the pixel difference between them. Alrighty then. Now to link other pages. This is something that can be kind of helpful. Um so like this, this is how this works. Alright, so you put URL equals. You're gonna cut, paste the link in there and bracket it. What's gonna show up is what you put after this, which is. And then you're going to start another bracket without putting any spaces. That's the thing with all these, you cannot put spaces, or else they don't work. And then you click. And then look. It's like that. You click that, it takes you to the page. Now, there's one more thing I'll show you, and that is color. And I'll show you that right now. Alright, so as you can see, this says this text is lime green. If you went to the journal and looked at it, it would not be lime green. To do that, a good site is to create a website.com slash build slash hex dash colors dot html. 
HTML. I'll put the link in the description below. But you go down here, choose your color. That's a nice lime green. See the hex code right here? You're going to copy that. Control C. Go over here. Go in front. Color equals Control V. Make sure you leave the number there. The number symbol. And then go here. Color. Uh, and then if you go here, the text is lime green. As you can see. And that is it. So thank you for looking. And I hope this helps you out in making cool journals. Um, Alright, so bye. Uh, bye.